Hi there, today I'm unboxing a photography lighting kit. So this particular kit retails on Amazon for £100. I saw it on offer, so it worked out I think £34 by a company called Exelvan. Comes in a plain brown box, nothing too fancy on that. I've already cut it open, so I thought before I go into there, let me make a video to show what the kit's like. So okay, let's open it up see what you get in the packaging so initially looks like one large carry case then a smaller case and a bag looking like it's got a reflector in there let's open that yeah see if I open that one gold one silver and should in theory just be able to fold it back up again sort of like that Let's put that back in there so it doesn't pop open okay and next thing got a box Okay, so that contains a tripod and then looks like another box that contains the same thing again. Yeah, another one. Then we've got three, four umbrellas. And if I open one up, silver inside, so reflective and black on the outside, and the white ones you get, so just plain white. So the idea behind this, obviously, me doing these YouTube videos, weather gets a bit darker as well, so the quality of the videos I sort of struggle to get the brightness in there, so I thought it'd be worth getting something like this. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Looks like a bulb. Yep, so 45 watt bulb. Looks like it's the same thing again. Another 45 watt one. Yep, 45. Quite a large bulb. Should be interesting to see the brightness you get on these when you're actually making a video or taking photos okay that looks okay so this is the actual adapter to plug the bulb in and then you plug it in the other end and you've got buttons on there okay so UK standard plug which has got a fuse in there fixture seems good good build quality quite rigid plastic and then obviously you've got the metal to hold the actual bulb and guessing the last one's just the same thing again but for the other stand yeah same thing again okay so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging it does come with a user manual just two sheets of paper, just showing you how to unfold the actual tripod. So there's two tripods in the kit and a list of items you get in the packaging. So pretty straightforward. So if I show briefly how to do it. So this is the clamp that keeps the lower legs sort of secure. So if I loosen that and then I can just pull this apart. So I'll do a bit more. There you go, just pulls down and then you've suddenly got the height on there. And once you've got it in the position you want, you just tighten it back up again and that will give you the stability on there. There you go, it's quite tight now. Okay, so the next thing I can show 
is the actual light attachment. Okay, so the attachment for the lighting can go on like this, or you could put it like this if you wanted to. Now I'll place it in this position and the actual light itself, you want it to point upwards because the umbrella will be slotting straight into that. And obviously it will reflect the light off it. And the light bulb can fit on like so. Do be careful with the light, obviously it is fragile. And if I take the umbrella, what we want to do is initially just open it up. And then that slots in just to the hole here. And there's a clamp there at the back to tighten it. So I can just go like so. And there you go, it's in position. Okay, so let me do the other one off camera and I'll show you how both of them look. Okay, so here's everything set up. The two tripods um, at either end here, they're both set up to the lowest position they can be on. So sufficient for my needs really, because obviously with unboxings and reviews I'm doing, I just need to be quite low down with the actual lighting. So fine, fine with me. Um, the actual cable length, it's not too long, but sufficient for these lower areas and reflection of light obviously coming off, it seems reasonably good. Now, let me go in closer so you can see the level of brightness you get in the area. Okay, so I'm on the area that's obviously been lit up. And as you can see, brightness levels seem quite good. I'll just put a few items out just so you can see. And if I turn the lights off, see what the difference is like. Okay, a little bit darker. And obviously you can see shadows and things around. So the area there, obviously with the tripod, turn it back on. It's a little bit less. So not too bad, really. Okay, so here's quite a high length we've taken the actual tripods to. It could go even further, actually. Didn't want to hit the ceiling completely with it. So just to show the actual tripods themselves, the legs can actually pull lower down. So there you go. Good height to it if you're gonna be making portrait shots with this. Light-wise, you can see, you can get a, a nice bit of light around the actual photography area. And again, have to note the, the wires, they're okay, but if you're splitting them up, and obviously if you've got a distance to an actual socket, then you may struggle a little bit, so worth probably buying an extension if you're gonna use it for that sort of purpose. But okay, so here are all the items packed away and put into the actual carry case you get with this. So it fits quite nicely, so I've put the two uh, adapters for the lights in here, put the bulbs back in the boxes, and obviously the stands here, umbrellas, everything back in its original case, and it fits quite well. And just to show, I'll just carefully zip this back up. And two handles either side, and then you've got a Velcro just to hold it together. And weight-wise, it's not too bad. So there you go. Quite a nice, compact package here. And I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.